what's up you all i am back with another video and today i'm going to be doing a video on printing images on denim blue jean um this today i have a vest that i am going to be printing on this is a memorial day vest i'll show it to y'all this is a memorial day vest so we're going to be printing on it excuse the noise in the back i am getting the yard done um but I have a vest in this video should be brief i have already printed everything i'm letting the heat press warm up and then once everything warms up we can go ahead and get started with the video um so let me show y'all the vest that i have first this is the blue jean vest that i have it's like a little short women's vest um and i'm am going to be putting something on the back so if you haven't put vinyl nor uh an image on blue jean i will be showing you that in this video so make sure you stop the video right now pause it or let it keep playing whichever one you decide but make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and then let me know if this was this video was helpful to you um at the end of this video in the comments down below so as again as i said this is the vest i'm not going to be putting anything in the front the front is just going to stay as is so the image in the print that i'm going to be adding on is going to be at the back okay yeah so let's get into it i hope y'all was able to see me so i'm gonna do this again this is the vest. I'm going to not be printing at the front. I will be printing the image at the back of the vest. So, um, like I said, I already have the things that I want to print. I'm letting the heat press print, um, heat up, and then we'll get into it. So, um, with this design and with the, the things that I am using, I will be using my Cricut Maker. Um, so I did find the font from my Cricut Maker and I also printed the image from the Cricut Maker. However, you do not have to use your Cricut or Cricut or any type of machine to print the picture. You can always use Microsoft uh, Word or Microsoft Publisher to print your pictures. You never have to use a Cricut to put your, print your pictures. The only reason why I did use Cricut to print the pr pictures is because I was also using it for the words as well. But if you don't have a Cricut, you don't have to use it. You may always use Microsoft Word. And I'll probably try to put a little quick video in here just to show you all how to do it. You can use your phone actually. So if somebody send you a picture or if you have a picture in your phone, you can just go to your phone and print the picture to your computer, I mean to your printer, and you can do it that way as well. Only difference with your phone, I don't think you are able to size it. So with the Cricut, you can size it. And if you use Microsoft Publisher or Microsoft Word, you may also size your pictures. Other than that, they will be the standard size. Most shirts do use the standard size. However, with this vest, um, the size did vary because this, as you can, I can measure it for you. So, um, I'm going to lay it down so y'all can see now. Y'all, excuse all my stuff I got going on in the back. Okay, so as y'all can see, this vest right here only thing i'm worrying about is putting a picture in this part and across to here other than that i don't want the picture to be any bigger so i did take the measuring tape and i just measured from the top to bottom which was about nine i didn't want to go over this seam or under this seam so i did about nine but i still don't want my image to be that size because if you go across it's only if you go across, it's only a little bit under seven and a half. So you don't want your image to be that big. And then this part right here is a little smaller, uh, shorter than the top. So I didn't do the image the exact size of this, but I put it at a decent size. Um, for this particular jacket, let me see if the heat press warm. It's warm. So like I said, I already cut my uh, vinyl and things. If you don't know how to cut vinyl, 
I do have a tutorial on how to cut vinyl. You may go and view that. I will try to put the link somewhere in the thing so you can see it or at the end of this video. Okay, so let me get my heat press together, y'all. I'm trying to stick this blue jean jacket on here. So the first thing I would do with blue jean, this is a jacket, but I'm gonna unbutton this jacket because you wanna make sure that your surface is flat. That's the best way to make sure that everything gets on there the correct way. You wanna have a flat surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbutton the jacket. And then I'm gonna lay the jacket across my heat press, whichever way fits you. So I laid the jacket across my heat press, as y'all can see. Okay, I'm trying not to be in y'all way. I want y'all to see, but I also want to do this. So with the picture, I mean, not the picture, so I'm going to start with the vinyl. So with the vinyl, I have already printed my vinyl. If you use a Cricut, you know that you need to mirror your, uh, your words so that it can come out on the right, in the right direction. And I went, I went and I wanted to go ahead and weld the stuff together. That way I know that it'll be exactly like I want it to be on here. And you can fold it to make sure it's centered or, you know, whichever way fits you. Okay, and I'm trying to, I'm going to get this on the flattest surface possible. I don't really want it to be like this right here. It's going to probably be a little harder because it's a little patch right there, but that's fine. So I got it on there and then we're going to go ahead and press it down. So I'm going to scoot that in and you can always adjust your press so we can make sure that it's pressed all the way down. I'm gonna leave this on there just a little longer than I would normally, only because, and normally if you want to, you can always cover your images up with parchment paper or um, the heat, what is it called? Um, yeah, I can't think of the name right now. But you can always cover it up. So I don't wanna put too much heat because some, the other day it did something crazy, so. Okay, y'all, and I have a habit, if you don't know me, I have a habit of wanting to make sure that my image is pushed all the way down before I pull it up. So I'm using this rolling pin. You, I use ruler sometimes, but I'm in a process of moving, so stuff is everywhere. And so I'm gonna use this rolling pin. Okay. To make sure it's on there and then we're going to start peeling it up blue jean is a little different y'all and the reason why i say that is because and then we might want to peel hot blue jean is a little different because it's um the stuff don't stick like it would with um cotton material cotton material it sticks a little easier Blue jean is a little bit more work. So. Like I said, I roll it down. to pull this out because I want to press it again while the heat press is
Yeah, this is where my ruler really comes in handy at, seriously. Because that ruler, I can push down on it and while, it, while it's hot and make sure that, ooh, I hurt myself, y'all. With this, that ruler, I can push down on it, but this rolling pin is pretty good too. Okay, so that's the top, and then we're gonna do the image. So for the image, I'm gonna show y'all me again. Okay, so for the image, I use the easiest way to do an image. You can use sublimation. I have the hardest time with my sublimation printer. I'm not gonna even lie. So I really hate using it. So I do like using these Jolie's uh, image. I either buy this five pack here and it's for dark fabric, or I buy this pack right here. This pack is actually cheaper. You get 10, but you get white, five white and five dark, but they're pretty much the same. Um, with the dark sheet, it does come, with the dark sheet, it does come with the blue line at the back. I like the dark sheets. And then the only thing you do is you just print the image. Y'all, let me cover up the faces. The only thing you do is you just print the image and then it comes out like this. Once you finish printing the images, you're just gonna take this paper and you're gonna peel it apart. You're gonna peel this paper from this blue sheet with the line on it. And then you will come out with this. This right here, you're just gonna take it and you're gonna earn it onto you can either use an urn or you can use a heat press. Earn it onto your fabric. Um, in this case, again, we're going to do the um, jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how that looks. Let me bring y'all back. I covered up the image so that y'all won't see it like that because I don't know what the you know, I don't want to put people stuff out there like that. So this is the image. This picture is a little smaller. So I just laid the image down here. And then I'm just going to cover it up. And I did do this one a little smaller purposely. I'm going to cover both up. And then I'm going to scoot. Let me push it in. If I can. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna press down on it. And the press shouldn't take that long with the image because the image is um, not as thick. But, so the press shouldn't take that long. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. Well, not minutes, but a couple of seconds. up on it and I'm gonna show y'all how you see it's not pulling up it's down everything is down it's not coming up because it doesn't take much for that to get done see it's all down nothing is coming up so you don't have to worry about that with the image blue this works good with blue jeans so you don't have to worry about that it's mainly the vinyl with blue jean you have a little bit more work to do only because um, the blue jean is thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and repress this one more time and I'll be back with the final result. Okay, y'all, so I'm finally finished with the jackets and they are very gorgeous. They came out very nice, as you, as you can see. Um, let me just show it to y'all while I zoom down. Maybe I could try to view out the uh, And I also did shirts as well, y'all. So this is the shirt. Sorry, don't want to show y'all the names, but this is the shirt. It looked pretty. And then I love that Cricut has that echo um, echo wording effect now. So you don't have to try to put three words or rows of words together yourself. Cricut offered that to you. So this is a great idea. It's great. But again, here's the jacket. Let me see if I can. They came out very pretty actually very very pretty 
and then that's the words on that side and then this picture on the black is really nice Yeah, so it's it's really nice. Um, I hope you all like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any comments, questions, please ask below. I will get back with you. And thank you. Bye. Until next time.